So here are the doors and they use a servo with gearing. On both models I added a curved edge, allowing it to open freely and not get caught on any other blocks. Removing the trap door reveals the key, and so both the trap door and also the door have the same cutout in order to fit onto that key. In order to get that key to move, there's a gear that's been melted on, and so opening it up, here's the gear that has a shaft that goes up into this key and gets melted into. The servo is mounted facing upward and uses only one screw in order to get attached. The servo gear is pressure fit. The cutout that aligns onto this guide here serves as another anchoring in order to avoid the servo from twisting around. And in order to control the servo motor, I'm using the Atmega 328P along with a 3.6 volt battery pack. Here's a different gearing which uses more teeth and this would improve the accuracy in which the servo will move the door. The issue is that the more the teeth, the smaller they are, and also the harder it is to print. This one being printed with a 0.2 millimeter nozzle, so instead I kept the original design and modified the code in order for it to work. It does a big initial jump, followed by smaller jumps with small delays. Without the smaller movements, it would overshoot and end up more down here. The main issue with adding the smaller steps is that you're not able to spam it, I use the detach function, which disables the servo and allows you to move it freely. If I power it, then move it back down manually and release the button, then it won't move at all. It will just go back to its original position here. And again, I can flip it open and supplying power. You can see that the gears actually engage, but it doesn't end up moving since it's already in that position. No matter how many times I spam it, it still does end up in this original position. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, as always, please let me know. And thank you for watching.